Today our topic is about finding the square root of a quadratic set. How to find the square root of a quadratic set? That is our topic. Okay. So we'll take one example. Find square root of square root of 11 plus 4 root 7. You are asked to find the square root of 11 plus 4 root 7. Okay. How to find the square root? Okay. So first one is square root of 11 plus 4 root 7. Assume it as which is equal to root x plus root y. Let us assume that square root of 11 plus 4 root 7 is equal to root x plus root y. Now the first step is squaring on both sides. Squaring, squaring on both sides. What do you mean by squaring on both sides? You have to square LHS as well as RHS. Square. Square root of 11 plus 4 root 7. Whole square is equal to square root, uh, root x plus root y. Whole square. So this is what squaring on both sides. So automatically square and root gets cancelled. So that becomes 11 plus 4 root 7 which is equal to root x plus root y whole square. This is in the form of a plus b whole square. What is the expanded form of a plus b whole square? a square plus b square plus 2ab. In place of a, root x is there. In place of b, root y is there. So that is equal to root x whole square plus root y whole square minus so plus 2 into root x into root y. Here square and root, square and root gets cancels. x plus y is equal to 2 root, root x into root y is equal to 2 root x y. Which is equal to 11 plus 4 root 7. Now comparing the terms, comparing the okay, corresponding terms. Okay? So here in place of x plus y, 11 is it. So here x plus y is equal to 11. In place of 2 root x y, 4 root 7 is there. So compare these two terms. 2 root x y is equal to 4 root 7. Okay, that is equal to 2. Cancels 4 2 times. So root x y is equal to 2 root 7. Okay, again squaring on both sides. Root x y whole square is equal to 2 root 7 whole square. Square and root cancels x y is equal to 2 square into root 7 whole square. This is in the form of a into b whole power n which is equal to a power n into b power n. So 2, 2 square into root 7 whole square. So x y is equal to 2 square is 4. Root 7 whole square is 7 which is equal to 28. So we got the value of x plus y which is equal to 11 and x y is equal to 28. But to solve this, we have to find the value of x and y. Okay, how to solve this? So for that, we need to find the value of x minus y. So both of them get solved, gives the value of x and y. So for that, what do we have to do? We have to take another identity. What is that identity? That identity is nothing but x minus y whole square. Actually, you feel that x minus y whole square is equal to x square plus y square minus 2x y. But this can be written as x plus y whole square minus 4x y. How? x plus y whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus 2x y minus 4x y. That is equal to x square plus y square plus 2x y minus 4x y. Both are like terms. So both becomes minus 2xy. So x square plus y square minus 2xy which is equal to x minus y whole square. So, so what do you understood from this? x minus y whole square is equal to x plus y whole square minus 4xy. Okay. So you already know the value of x plus y which is equal to 11. x plus y is equal to 11. So here substitute in place of x plus y 11. 11 square minus x 
xy is equal to 20, 28. Substitute here. So 4 into 28. So x minus y whole square is equal to what is the value of 11 square which is equal to 121 minus 4 into 28 is equal to 112. x minus y whole square is equal to 121 minus 112 which is equal to 9. So x minus y is equal to square root of 9 which is equal to 3. So take this as first equation. Take this as second equation. So I mean both. How to solve both? x plus y is equal to 11. x minus y is equal to 3. Adding these two. Adding the first equation and second equation. Plus y minus y. Both of them cancels. So x into x plus x which is equal to 2x. 11 plus 3 which is equal to 14. x is equal to 14 by 2. 2 7s are 14. x is equal to 7. Again substitute in either in first equation or second equation. The value of x. So we will we'll substitute here. 7 plus y is equal to 11. y is equal to 11 minus 7. y is equal to 11 minus 7 which is equal to 4. So we already assumed that root square root of 11 plus 4 root 7 is equal to root x plus root y. So in place of x we got we got the value 7. So we can write it as root 7 plus in place of y 4 root 4. Root 7 plus root 4 is 2. So that is equal to 7 plus 2. So like that we found the square root of 11 plus 4 root 7. Okay. So this is how we have to find the square root of a quadratic set. Okay. Now we'll take one more example. Okay, we'll take one more example. Find the square root of 10 plus 2 root 6 plus 2 root 15 plus 2 root 10. You are asked to find the square root of 10 plus 2 root 6 plus 2 root 15 plus 2 root 10. So assume that square root of this is equal to root x plus root y plus root z. Again squaring on both sides. This gives 10 plus 2 root 6 plus 2 root 15 plus 2 root 10. Square root gets cancels that becomes root x whole square plus root y whole square plus root z whole square my plus 2 root x y plus 2 root y z plus 2 root z x a square plus b square plus b square plus 2 a b plus 2 b c plus 2 c a that is in the form that is equal to x plus y plus z plus 2 root x y plus 2 root y z plus 2 root zx. Again compare the terms. x plus y plus z. In place of x plus y plus z, here 10 is there. So which is equal to 10. Now what about the remaining corresponding terms? 2 root xy is equal to 2 root 6. 2 2 gets cancels. Here square root square root gets cancels. xy is equal to 6. In the same manner. Okay. 2 root yz is equal to 2 root 15. So yz is equal to 15. In the same way, 2 root zx is equal to 2 root 10. So zx is equal to 10. Now, we have to find at least one either x or y or z. So for that, xy into yz by zx. So here z and z can cancels x and x cancels. What is x, y? 6. What is y, z? 10. Okay, now y, x, sorry. x, y, mm, y, z. y, z is 15, so 15. And z, x is 10. So y square is equal to, okay, uh, 5,
5 threes are 15, 5 twos are 10, 2 threes are 6. So 3 square y is equal to 3. So we got the value of 3 in place of y. So we have to find the remaining values. Okay. How to find the remaining values here? x plus y plus z is equal to okay. What we got 10. So x plus 3 plus z is equal to 10. x plus z is equal to 10 minus 3. x plus z is equal to 7. So we got the value of x plus z which is equal to 7. Okay. So here what we have to do is we have to find either y or either x or z. So take this one. x y is equal to 6. Here x into 3 is equal to 6. x is equal to 6 by 3. 3 2 are 6. x is equal to 2. In the same manner here. z x is equal to 10. z into 2 is equal to 10. Because x is equal to 2 we already got it. z is equal to 10 by 2 which is equal to 5. So z is equal to 5. So we got the value of x, y, z. So here, so what is the value of this square root of root 10? So in place of x we got it as, in place of x we got root 2 plus, in place of y we got it as 3 root 3, in place of z we got it as root 5. z is equal to 5. So, this square root of 10 plus 2 root 16 plus 2 root, 2 root 15 plus 2 root 10 which is equal to root, root 2 plus root 3 plus root 5. Squaring this we get this value. So, this is how we have to find the square root of a quadratic sets. Okay now. Thank you very much for giving this wonderful opportunity. Please do subscribe to Previn Tutorials. Thank you.